Which means Allah is teaching us that there, there has to be difficult, you know, disappointing, devastating events in life. And if Allah's Messenger وسلم, and the best of the people, the Sahaba, were not spared devastation, if they were not spared the most horrible experiences, then you and I shouldn't think, I pray, I make dua, I don't do anything haram, why does bad stuff happen to me? Right? That's not a question anymore because Allah has actually created these circumstances for the best of people. Who are we? And they're being given a lesson in this most devastating circumstance. And they're being told, not don't be weak, go back a little bit further. You remember when we talked about suppressing anger a few, you know, a week ago? When we talked about suppressing anger, I didn't say, Allah doesn't say don't be angry. Because, you know, if somebody's angry and you say to them, don't be angry, they'll be like, okay, gone. <clears throat> No, it doesn't work that way. If somebody's really sad and they're crying, you say, don't cry. They're like, doesn't work that way. When you have feelings inside, you can't just erase them. So when Allah here says, don't feel weak, oh, I'm strong now, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Don't be weak means don't let your weakness consume you so you act as if you are already defeated. Don't be weak doesn't mean that you're not feeling weak on the inside, that you're not feeling powerless on the inside, but don't let that powerlessness define you. That's an experience you have to go through, but it's not who you are. And he says, يَوْمَ يَجْمَعُكُمْ لِيَوْمِ الْجَمْعِ ذَلِكَ يَوْمُ التَّغَابُنِ The day he gathers you for the day that's meant for gathering, that's the day of winning and losing. That's the actual day. Of, this is not winning and losing. There's a larger grand scheme of things. There's a grand scheme of things. And we understand that, and that's why these smaller things, they don't make as much of a big deal to us. But it's a, it's a struggle we have to engage in to reorganize and resize issues to the way Allah wants us to resize, resize them. Now there's an old Arabic saying, كَبِّرْ هَا تَكْبُرْ صَغِرْ هَا تَصْغُرْ Make something big, it will become a big deal. Make something small, it will remain insignificant. Allah wants, for us, some things to be a big deal. Right? And we should, and what's crazy is, the things Allah wants us to make a big deal out of, we don't make a big deal out of them at all. And the things Allah wants us to keep small, we make them into a huge deal. Let me explain it to you. First of all, He said, you're only victorious, you're only consider yourselves victorious if in fact you can hold on to your faith, even under losing circumstances. That's the first thing. But in this ayah, He explains, He says, وَلِيَعْلَمَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا And so Allah will know who truly believes. And Allah will know who truly believes. Allah put us through this because He wanted to know, can we hold on to our faith when things are not going our way? Because when we are hit with difficult times, what comes? Wahan, weakness. Huzn, negative thinking. And those, those two things the devil capitalizes on and says you need to do something to make yourself feel better, to make the... The, 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 the bad feelings go away, the negativity go away. When people are overrun with depression or anxiety or sadness, they turn to things that the devil wants them to turn to. They go to some kind of escape to make themselves feel better. That's when they turn away from Allah. Allah says, go through this and let me see if you can stay tall. Stand tall, standing. You know, sometimes we go through a bad experience and we start defining ourselves by that experience. You know, some, somebody who's... And kids do this to each other, by the way, because, you know, I don't know anything about video games, but... Um, Astaghfirullah. Well, you kids are playing, and if one kid is used to winning all the matches, like they're playing Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat or something, and they're winning, and they're winning, and they're winning, and they're like, what happened, huh? Huh? Can't win, huh? Can't win, huh? And then one time they lose, and so the kid goes, you're a loser. You, I won a hundred times, but that one time, that loser sticks in my head, like, I am a loser. And the next time I play, I'm, I'm already lost in my head. Don't let this get to your head. Don't let this lo loss become a loss on the inside. That's actually a bigger loss. So don't expect, you, you know, don't accept that softness on the inside. Toughen up. Put yourself back together. Yes, it's hurt. Yes, it's difficult. But get up. And that's the first words that Allah says, لا تهنو. Then He says, ولا تحزنو. He says, and don't, they translate this as, don't be sad. Al-Huzn, which is commonly translated as sadness, actually comes from Huzun. Uh, which is one of the words in Arabic for al-jibal, mountains. And anything that has toughness or rigidness or discomfort in it, gets associated with huzn, meaning don't develop negative feelings. Sadness is one of them. Defeatism is another, that's a, that's a part of huzn actually. 
you know, uh, feeling hopeless is another part of huzn. Feeling angry and resentment at yourself is also another part of huzn. Huzn is a number of negative, any score of rough emotions or rigid emotions are huzn. On top of all of that, look at the sequence. First, don't feel weak and don't become hardened with difficult or with negative emotions, meaning don't let this crystallize inside you so you just become a negative person in your outlook. You see, the, the universal lesson, not just for the Sahaba at that time, which is powerful, but all for all of us is we're going to go through some kind of Uhud in our life where people around us that we love are going to get hit or we're going to get hit. And it's going to come out of nowhere. And we, we had all these hopes and expectations and they're going to get shattered and we're going to get shaken up like we've never been shaken up before. وَزُلْزِلُوا The people before us, the earth beneath their feet was shaken. Everything was fallen, falling apart. Everything was taken from them. And at that point, at that point, it is, this is actually the other battle. I keep referring this to you. There are three battles, right? There's the battle against the enemy. There's the battle of evil within the Muslim society that has to be fought, the enemy. And there's a third war, the third battle happening inside. This is the battle on the inside now. Don't lose this battle. This, because this, this is actually what makes a person victorious or a failure. The worldview of the Muslim is that everything in this world is simply la'ibun wa lahun. It's, it's a game and it's entertainment, meaning the ups and downs of this world are just cycles. The only thing that really matters before Allah and eventually when nothing else will matter, when all of this is reduced to nothing, the only thing that will matter is where, where, the, where was the heart. That's actually what the trial is. So now Allah has tested us with fear. Allah has tested us with bravery. Allah has tested us in different circumstances, the Sahaba. But now they're being tested with overwhelming grief and sadness and defeat. That's their next test. Can they hold on to their faith when they go through defeat? When they go through such an overwhelming, negative, you know, dark cloud above them? And so he says, وَلَا تَهِنُوا وَلَا تَحْزَنُوا Then he adds, وَأَنْتُمُ الْأَعْلَوْنَ You are the highest. And while you are the highest, Allah is saying, you think you lost and the enemy won. They walked away with your shields and swords. They walked away laughing at you. The, you know, uh, Abu Sufyan was at the bottom of the hill saying, يَوْمٌ لَكُمْ وَيَوْمٌ لَنَا A day for you, a day for us. What's he talking about? Badr was for you, or Khudus for us. He talked trash to us. You know, لَنَا الْعُزَّ وَلَا عُزَّ لَكُمْ We have the female goddess Uzza. You don't have a Uzza. So they said, you know, and Hubal, their god Hubal, they, he praised their gods that helped them on the day of Wahad. You know, that's the trash talk they did. When the Prophet ﷺ was up on the hill, إِذْ تُسْعِدُونَ وَلَا تَلْوُونَ عَلَىٰ أَحَدٍ That those ayat are coming. So, you know, it feels like defeat, it feels humiliating. By the way, the word highest, Al-A'laun, that's the superlative form. A'la in Arabic, higher. Al-A'la, highest, the highest. You are the highest. How are we the highest when we just suffered a defeat? You know, it's a, what a thing to say. Don't be sad. Oh, don't feel weak. Don't, be, don't let sadness get to you. Don't let these negative emotions eat away at you. You're in the highest position. How are we in the highest position? Allah, and by the way, to be in the highest position means two things. One, when someone's victorious, they're high. And when someone loses, they're low. So he's, as if he's saying, no one is higher than you. No, more is more, no one's more victorious than you are. That's one comment. The other of being high is actually being honored. The more, the more honored someone is, the higher they are, right? So, you know, that's why judges are honorable judge, but they also call them your highness, you know? So our, our royalty is called your highness, right? So this idea of height is actually associated with honor. Obviously, when, you're, when you lose a battle, one, you didn't win. <laughs> So you're low. Two, it's humiliating. So you're low. But Allah says you're the highest. How, how in the world are we the highest? That's answered by the final comment of this ayah. In kuntum mu'mineen. If in fact you are believers. If in fact you are believers. Now that portion, if in fact you are believers, has been attached in two ways. So let's understand both. One in understanding is, La tahinu wa la tahinu wa la tahzanu in kuntum mu'mineen. This, and the, there's an atirah, there's a sentence in between. What that means is, don't feel weakened. Don't let the insides defeat you. Don't feel defeated on the inside. And don't be overwhelmed with negative emotions. Don't do that to yourselves. If in fact you have faith. 
if in fact you believe. What is it that you believe? What you and I believe is that this life has nothing to do with victory and loss. You know, losing and gaining and losing, it's called taghabun in Arabic. And he says, يَوْمَ يَجْمَعُكُمْ لِيَوْمِ الْجَمْعِ ذَلِكَ يَوْمُ التَّغَابُنَ The day he gathers you for the day that's meant for gathering, that's the day of winning and losing. That's the actual day of winning. This is not winning and losing. There's a larger grand scheme of things. There's a grand scheme of things. And we understand that. And that's why these smaller things, they don't make as much of a big deal to us. The things you're going to put to use in this world, compared to the next life, they're nothing but very little. Allah says in this ayah, don't be saddened, don't be weakened. Don't, don't, don't lose heart over these things. This will come and go. I want to see how much you believe in that. In kuntum mu'mineen. If in fact you have real conviction of what real victory and real loss is, then this will not affect you. And if it is affecting you too much, you know what that means? That means you haven't understood or realized what a big thing waits for you ahead. Maybe your faith in that isn't strong enough. Maybe that's what you need to focus on. Understand that these trials will come, these victories will come. And it's part of, it's, it's part of, you know, it's to be human. Even the Prophet ﷺ was overwhelmed with grief. So we're not being told, don't be sad. We're not being told, don't be weak. We're being told, don't be overwhelmed by it. Don't let that overrun you. You are in the highest position anybody else can be in. These people don't have what you have. Allah describes what real victory is. This is the Muslim concept of the Qur'an's concept of victory. It has nothing to do with the battlefield. As a matter of fact, the most beautiful thing in Arabic, the most beautiful, is called Al-Husna. Al-Husna. Like, Falahu al asbaul Husna, right? The most beautiful, the most beautiful names. In Surah At-Tawbah, in case we win or in case we, we lose, Allah says, قُلْ هَلْ تَرَبَّصُونَ بِنَا إِلَّا إِحْدَى الْحُسْنَيَنِ Are you waiting for us? The enemy, tell the enemy, are you waiting on us? Because what's going to end up with us? One of, two, one of the two most beautiful things. Meaning, if we win for Allah's sake, it's the most beautiful thing. And if we lose for Allah's sake, it's also the most beautiful thing. You can't beat us. We are al-a'lawn no matter how you go. This is, al, al, you know, so this is antum al-a'lawna in kuntum mu'minin. But it's a, it's a struggle we have to engage in to reorganize and resize issues to the way Allah wants us to resize, resize them. Now there's an old Arabic saying, كَبِّرْ هَا تَكْبُرْ صَغِرْ هَا تَصْغُرْ Make something big, it will become a big deal. Make something small, it will remain insignificant. Allah wants, for us, some things to be a big deal. Right? And we should, and what, what's crazy is, the things Allah wants us to make a big deal out of, we don't make a big deal out of them at all. And the things Allah wants us to keep small, we make them into a huge deal. There are going to be days of joy, periods of joy, periods of sadness. It has to happen. This is Allah's plan for people that will live on this earth. They will be given good and they will be given tough times. We're going to test you with good and with bad. It's going to, you're going to get hit with both. You have to experience both. Let me explain it to you. First of all, he said, you're only, victor you're only consider yourselves victorious if in fact you can hold on to your faith, even under losing circumstances. That's the first thing. But in this ayah, he explains, he says, وَلِيَعْلَمَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا And so Allah will know who truly believes. And Allah will know who truly believes. Allah put us through this because He wanted to know, can we hold on to our faith when things are not going our way? Because when we are hit with difficult times, what comes? Wahan, weakness. Huzn, negative thinking. And those, those two things the devil capitalizes on and says you need to do something to make yourself feel better, to make the, 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 the bad feelings go away, the negativity go away. When people are overrun with depression or anxiety or sadness, they turn to things that the devil wants them to turn to. They go to some kind of escape to make themselves feel better. That's when they turn away from Allah. Allah says, go through this and let me see if you can stay tall. Stand tall, standing. 